Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tear down or disassemble an ASUS X553M laptop so you can see how to access all the various components safely. Uh, first thing you want to do, guys, power the computer down, make sure it's off, unplug it from your charger. We're going to flip it over and take out your screws. So you can see four screws up here on top near the back of the computer. You can see two over here near the bottom right corner, two over here near the bottom left corner, and then these two near the bottom. So after you've gotten all those screws up, guys, you're going to take a small pry tool and you're going to go across the outside edge and you're going to pry apart the palm rest from the bottom case. But instead of going on the edge of the laptop, right on the edge, you're going to go at it more from the top. Instead of right at, at the edge there, there's no seam there. If you look where all the ports are, there's no seam. The seam is on top of the palm rest. So you're basically prying out the palm rest from inside the bottom case. You're gonna go around and pry that out that way. After you get the palm rest up, you're gonna open it kind of like a book, but you're not gonna rip it off because if you look here, as you open the palm rest from the bottom case to expose the inside of the computer, there's two ribbon cables here that you've got to take out. So these ribbon cables, guys, your, your keyboard ribbon cable here, the long one, and your touchpad ribbon cable, the small one, they connect to your motherboard here. And the way that you undo this, you have a white port on the motherboard in both instances. And then the ribbon cable with a blue end slides into it. And in order to secure that, you have a black clip that's on top of the ribbon cable that's connected to the white port. That black clip opens and shuts towards the ribbon cable, almost like a book cover. So what you're gonna wanna do is very gently take a small pry tool and slide it underneath that black clip and pop it open. Again, kind of like a, a book cover. Be very careful though, because these black clips, guys, are very breakable. If you break them, you probably won't be able to find a replacement and then your ribbon cable will not be able to secure to the motherboard. So be very, very careful opening those up. Um, I'm going to let you do that right now as you open the bottom case, take out those screws, um, pry this palm rest up and try to get those out. While you're doing that, I'll play a really quick pitch to my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description. Okay, so after you've gotten that palm rest up and out of there, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer, and here's your battery. A good rule of thumb in any computer project, guys, remove the battery before touching anything else inside a computer. Just like powering it down and unplugging it, we want as little power running through the computer as possible so nothing gets damaged. So before accessing anything else, we'll take the battery out. You have to undo these screws that are on the outside of the battery, and then you have the battery plug right there. The way that you unplug the battery from the motherboard, there'll be a silver clip here toward the edge, and there'll be a white clip there more toward the battery. So it's a two-part plug. You take that silver clip and you slide it up toward the top of the motherboard, uh, up toward the hard drive. You slide it up very slightly, and that will release the white clip, which then just pops off straight up out of the computer. Okay, so after you have your battery removed, you can move on and take some other things out. So we'll go through this one at a time. This is your hard drive right here. Maybe most of you are here for that. There's a screw here on the top left of the hard drive, here in the top right, and here toward the bottom right. Those three screws are holding in the hard drive caddy, which is this metal piece here that's holding your hard drive in place. After you unscrew those screws, you slide this whole thing back uh, towards the LCD and it'll unplug from this port right here. That's where the hard drive is plugged in. Once it unplugs from there, then you can take it out of the computer. To remove the hard drive from the caddy, there's four screws, two on either side, on the long sides, that screw the hard drive into place. So that's how you would get it out of the caddy, and you would put the new hard drive into the caddy by putting those four screws back. This is your DVD drive here. You would just slide this to the left. That will unplug it from the motherboard here. That'll be out. This is your speaker here, the red and white 
uh, sorry, red and black wires are your speaker wires. And then this is your other speaker here. So the speaker wires plug in right here to the motherboard and the fan wires plug in right here to the motherboard. They're the exact same kind of plug. You would unplug them the same way. You would use your fingernails, maybe a small plastic pry tool and get a grip on each of those ribs on each side. And then you would pull it out or, or wiggle it back and forth until you can get it out. Don't pull on the wires. You could break them. That's how you would get those out. This USB board here, guys, has, is uh, screwed down by one single screw there. You would take that screw out and this ribbon cable plugs into the motherboard here. It's a black plug on the motherboard. The ribbon cable ends in a blue tab that slides into the black port underneath this white clip on top. That white clip, guys, is very, very breakable. It opens and closes onto the ribbon cable almost like a book cover. It closes to secure the ribbon cable in place and opens to release it. So to get that ribbon cable out, again, be very careful, but put us a, a pry tool right underneath that white clip on top of the ribbon cable in this direction down, and then you pop that up and slide the ribbon cable out. That's how you would get that out. Your Wi-Fi card is right down here. Unfortunately, it and the RAM are plugged into the motherboard on the opposite side of the motherboard. Horrible design, um, but you would unscrew that screw right there, that single screw holding the Wi-Fi card down. This is the antenna wire. You would pop that up, and then that wouldn't be screwed down. Uh, that wouldn't be holding the motherboard down. Then there's some screws on the motherboard. You see this screw here. It's got a white triangle or arrow pointing to it. Another one here and another one up here. You can't see the white triangle because it's under the uh, fan wire. But that's how you would usually see older computers. That's how you would see screws that hold it down. Oh, there's another one over here that I didn't see. Uh, that's how you would take the motherboard up. And then the last thing is the LCD cable right down here. This runs through this hinge assembly. Uh, the antenna wire runs through the opposite hinge assembly. But this is your LCD cable. You would pull this white tab up and back, um, and that will take a, a skinny uh, gold bar that'll remove it so that you can un unplug it. That's what fastens it down. So after taking all those things out, after flipping your motherboard over, you'll be able to unplug your Wi-Fi card from this port right here. This is where your Wi-Fi card would plug in, right there. And then on this side, you have also your RAM that you can now access after all that. Uh, it's held in by two spring-loaded arms on either side of the RAM. You would pry those spring-loaded arms away from the RAM stick, nice and slow and gentle. That releases your RAM. It even pops up a little bit in most cases, and then you would slide it out. For those of you that have the CMOS battery option, this computer did not. For those of you that had that option, it would be located here. That's where your CMOS battery would be if you guys had that in your computer. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.